Welcome to Staying Up with Cammie and Taryn. I'm Cammie. I was going to say, I'm Cammie. I'm Taryn. <laughs> and every night we have a sleepover, but every week we invite you to join us. So grab your dildos and your hats. Wow. What your are we sleeping doing? hat. There we go. <laughs> and join us. Except for it is morning. It's like 7 a.m. Yeah. Uh, the reason I'm now trying to like switch up our, our uh, little intro is because i started using chat gpt which is like ai chat it is so good it's crazy and um you can say like hey my fiance and i have a podcast that's supposed to be like a sleepover would you write an intro for us and it wrote a far better intro than anything i could have written it's it's probably find it next level good i actually don't really understand how this works i mean i get ai but i'm like they this AI is just like witty, charming, <laughs> intelligent. She's funny. But humble. Like okay. she's a genius. I said, this is a different one. It like, for some reason it like canceled and rewent. But I said, oh, no. create a funny introduction about my podcast called Staying Up, which is where we invite listeners to stay up with us for a sleep le- weekly sleepover. Sleepy weekover. Sleepy weekover. They said, welcome to Staying Up, the podcast where bedtime is for quitters. <laughs> Grab your blankets, pillows, and snacks because we're inviting you to a weekly sleepover with us. We'll keep you company late into the night with our musing stories and games, so don't even think about hitting that snooze button. Because let's face it, who needs REM when you have us? So <laughs> join us every week as we battle through the night staying up. That's cute. I do prefer like, the first one. Yeah. The other one you had, you don't have it anywhere? No, she got oh, it. She dead and gone. She ran into the night. It was so funny. It was just like, I don't know. I wish I remembered it. I am debating... Not letting it do it, but having it assist me in writing our vows. Honey, you know how upset I would be? <laughs> how would you know? If I ever found out, that would be such a bummer. But it's, it's, a lot of people have like a professional writer. How, you are a professional writer. Most I'm people. I'm not. Uh, most people are not. 99% but, but my of my wife is. My future wife. You think that my vows are going to be. They're going to be so They're not. good. They're not. They're pretty basic. I've already started. Well, I've started. I've been working on them over years. I, yeah. Sure. I have like lists and lists of things. The end? I'm really excited for you to hear the end. Oh my God. A little sneak peek? No. Just not with me. Tell people. I'll, I'll no, because I don't even think you'll remember mouse. it. It was just something from a very small thing that I immediately texted myself and I was like, end your vows like this. Aw. I feel like you've read that to me before. Maybe. Hmm. Guess we'll find out in how many days? How many days? My phone's up there. there. 52 or 51? Oh my god. My hair looks crazy. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm sorry. I'm about to go get my hair done this morning. So I didn't want to do anything to it, but woof. I hope we sound good this far away. Do you think we do? Yeah, I keep trying to like sit up. Yeah, let's sit up. Guys, the chronicles of us trying to find out our situation keep changing. But Taryn made a good point before we jumped on the call. Saying that, like, other than it's not the lighting, it's not the audio, we don't feel comfy. Like, we're sitting in our dining comfy. chairs that are, like, not the comfy coziest. I like working from these chairs because I, like, sit upright and feel, yeah. like, focused. It's a sleepover. I want to, like, I lounge be a little. I want to yeah, be yeah, lounged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I want to, like, be lounging, like, run into the closet for a quickie. Wait, what? Like, you know, sleepover shit. <laughs> You know, typical girly sleepover. Typical girls at a party. You know, I shared that I had sleepovers where, like, the girls <laughs> would, like, practice kissing and yeah. silly, goofy girl stuff. And I feel like, have you never had those experiences of, like, your girlfriends in the friend sense, like, actual girls who are friends at sleepovers getting, like, a little raunchy, a little risque? My girlies were, like, kind of slutty. Like, we were, they were already doing it. They didn't need yeah. to practice. Yeah. At what age? Junior high. Yeah. Junior high. I've never called it that. What do you call it? Middle school. Oh, junior high. Uh, yeah, I guess. Like, I, I was, think of who huh. I was friends with before my Christian friend group. Do you, do, do you know? interesting. Yeah. I don't want to say names. Just no, no, no. I know. But, I like, know. they were... Yeah, they were having. They were party girls. They were having, they were a, good having a good old time. Like you should say their names. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> Look them up. Um, um, yeah. So like, I guess yeah, they weren't like girls. No, 
truth or dare, let's kiss. They were just like, I'm sneaking out and going to Brian's house and macking over there. I do remember, I don't think it was an orgasm, but I do remember the first time that I like felt funny feelings and it was at a sleepover. And what were y'all doing? We were flipping through the TV and porn was on one of the channels. Yeah. Like this is when we were younger and like, I don't know if porn is still on TV, but like something was on that resembled mm-hmm. porn. And I have said this in previous episodes, never watched porn even to this day. This is the only clip I've ever seen of it. Wow. And I remember, I don't remember there being a guy, but I definitely remember there being a girl. <laughs> You're like, I don't know who else is there, but she was there. And I, my sweet little open self was like, we like watched like 10 seconds of it and then like flipped it. And I was like, did that make anybody else feel funny? Oh, so you weren't having an orgasm. You weren't like touching yourself. You know, I don't think you have to be touching yourself to have an orgasm. That's like an incredible skill, though, that people work decades at achieving. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't like <laughs> freaking <laughs> out, like <laughs> guys, guys. No, I that like I wasn't doing that. But I, you I like got on. tingly. Yeah, you had panty flutters. I you were just turned on. Yeah. How old were you? Maybe freshman year or something. Yeah, and you're like, whoa. And I was like, that was crazy. And then everyone called me a lesbian. <gasps> Everyone is like, oh my God, Taryn, you liked that? You lesbian, you lesbian. And I I don't know if this is like Aww. my ego that is telling me that I did this, but I feel like I ran upstairs. Oh, babe. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that that was like such an insult when we were growing up? Oh my God, are you yeah. a lesbian? You're le- like, we even, we were watching Bring It On. And that era of movies that were like, cult favorite classics that I remember loving are so fucking offensive now Yeah, in a million and one ways. But like yeah. them using like, I think they called, um, what's her name? Missy? An a Uber dyke? big dykey loser. Yeah. That's what they call her. But then and then, then, then they call her an Uber dyke. Like, oh, because she's an Uber dyke. And the way she says it, I think the first time I watched it, which it was like, what, elementary school, I didn't even hear the words she said because she says it kind of funny, the Uber Dyke. She's like, Uber Dyke. Like, yeah. it's like, yeah, I thought it was like a, a word. I thought it was know. one word. Yeah. Like, Uber Dyke. And I was like, <laughs> why do I not know this term? Yeah. But it's so sad that, like, I know you kind of didn't really even realize that you had feelings for girls until later, but it really does mess with you having people be like, you're not this, right? Don't be this. Like, ooh, are you? Yeah. It's so sad. So stupid. But I'm glad you had that fun little one-time experience <laughs> watching porn at a sleepover. Sleepovers are amazing. And that's why we have one. Every With single you. night. <laughs> um, should we, speaking of fanny flutter, should we do our little activity I'm today? absolutely down Should to. we jump in? Is there anything else we need to, like, catch up on, catch the oh, audience I, up on? You know, I totally forgot. Um, Taryn's going on a very fun little mother-daughter trip. You I am. Want, you want to tell the people? My mom and I love Vegas, and not for, like, obviously I'm going with my mom. We don't go clubbing and do the whole dress-up. No bondage bit. dresses. No bondage. Like, well, my mom. Tequila shot. She gets wild. <laughs> she, she don't go wild. <laughs> she don't go wild. <laughs> um, no, we just love going to, like, nice dinners, and we love gambling. And so So that is what we do. And when the weather's nice, which I don't think it is right now, we just like lay out by the pool Mm. during the day. Go to the spa. Gamble, go to the spa, all that. So So, um, my mom wanted to do a little trip with me before I got locked up in the old ball and train. (laughs) (laughs) Which is so funny that you guys are doing like a trip before our wedding. (laughs) Yeah, I'm actually running away with my mom. Yeah. Well, not... With my mom. Well, ugh, my mom is creepy. helping me run away There you go. You. <laughs> there you go. Correct phrasing. Yeah. Um, no, it's going to be so cute. Yeah. So we go today and we go for a couple days and um, my friend lives out there. So one of my best friends. So we're seeing him. And yeah, I'm just, I love time with my mom. Yeah. And you haven't had one, one time with your mom in forever. Only when you're out of town. Yeah. 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 Her mom will come stay with her when I'm out of town. It's so sweet. So sweet. They'll have like little sleepovers. It's yeah. really cute. So that's the hot new thing that's coming down the pike. Yeah. And Taryn and I have realized that we have never gone on vacation, just the two of us. You guys, how? Never. New tea is that? It's so crazy. I mean, we haven't been traveling as much. We got together right before COVID and then obviously weren't traveling during COVID and then like bought our house and we, we've been on vacations, but with your family so I feel like whenever there were yeah. so many vacations coming up, it was like really hard to make time just 
for us to go somewhere. I don't know. It's so weird. I like actually can't understand it. We've only done <laughs> vacations where we meet people there. Yeah. We go with my parents or we go with my family or we go with friends. Yeah. And that's it. And the first one that we have is going to be our honeymoon. We went with the dogs to Big Bear. That doesn't count. It wasn't like travel. Like we didn't fly. Yeah, that doesn't count. But we just booked our honeymoon. It's like a staycation. Yeah, we we're so excited. We we hadn't booked our honeymoon. And that's like, I feel like the question that I get asked the most often about yeah. wedding Like, what are you guys doing for your honeymoon? It's so much pressure, y'all. It's And I don't, it's not worth it. Yeah, the idea was not worth it. The pressure oh. of people being like, are you going to go oh, to Prague? Oh, I was like the pressure of a honeymoon. I was like, what pressure? Mm, don't go. <laughs> um, But we kind of decided that originally that we were just going to lump our honeymoon into our trip to Italy for two of Taryn's friends wedding at towards the end of the year in the fall. Our friends. Our friends. Um, but we were originally going to do that and just lump it in because like we're going to Italy. So romantic and just easy to get anywhere once you're in Europe. It's just like easy to bop around Europe. But we were like, we're planning this massive wedding and it's, super fun but also stressful we don't want to just like have the wedding and then that's it it's over we don't go like just celebrate us too like the wedding is very much about the family and our communities coming together and our friends coming together you know what I mean like that that is what a wedding is for like no I'm literally laughing at like our communities coming together not that that's a cheesy thing to say it's it's just very religious no it's just like that is so funny that that is what it is yeah that's like literally what weddings are doing communities this is so it is weird but i mean that is what it is because like i don't like to say i don't want to have to list off like family friends totally co-workers blah 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 but it it, like it's our lives just coming together and the people in our lives more importantly coming together wake up i keep yawning um so we're like okay we need a moment just the two of us so my parents have volunteered to stay with our dogs and watch them for the week so we are gonna hightail on out of here have a sexy romantic getaway sleepover on steroids party Hot. yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um and we're going to mexico we're going to cabo mm-hmm. that feels okay to say yeah okay great Why? we originally were like you know is someone choking over there? Yeah, Ricky. She's one of our, one of our, okay. one she's of our okay. sleepover guests is <laughs> choking <laughs> on the tree. Um, we, you know, when you think about your honeymoon, you're thinking about like, I don't, maybe Mexico is a normal honeymoon. I think it's pretty normal, but like what we had talked about, we were talking yeah. about like Europe. We were talking about um, the Bahamas. Like, where were we saying that we wanted to go? Um, shoot. Lisbon. No. We were literally, like, we asked. The Maldives? No. European uh, city. Where Lisbon is. Portugal. Is that what we were talking about? Yeah. Yes, it is. You're right. You're right. We were talking about Portugal. Like, something a little more grand. But this is our, like, pre-honeymoon. Just, yeah. We just want, I don't want to go to a city and explore. I'm going to be tired. Oh my Absolutely. God. <laughs> Choked on it. I'm so tired. We're going to be on our periods. Yeah, we're going to be on our periods. We're going to be, like, over-socialized. We just want to eat food, drink lay out be together like yeah that's and we, all I want we found a hotel that is like oh, we splurged n- so we we chose a simple destination because very easy to get to Cabo from LA oh it's so close it's and crazy. Then it's like a two and a half hour flight and then we splurged on where we're staying and it is but we had so many credit card points yeah. oh my god I we, wish I had advice for credit card points of like <laughs> do this do that I've just had the same credit card like my entire life and I pay everything on there and then pay it off with my debit card and I've never touched my points and we got like first class flights with our points we're fancy we like we will we will, we will be flying <laughs> The um, dogs are freaking out. Sorry. This is the downside of recording in the morning. Like, But this is also the joy of being at a sleepover at our house. Yeah. You feel like you're right here with us. The dogs are barking. I'm going to shut the door. I Speaking of the dogs, I had the scariest dream last night that a... Deli- oh, they're going to freak out at you. The delivery person, I ordered like Postmates or something, and the delivery person tried to kill me. It was so scary. And I was like, Frank, attack. <laughs> And I had a really sexy dream that kept getting interrupted by my mother. Oh, God, babe. That is 
You guys stop saying it. That's so. That's like stop saying so it. Like scary. I woke up and I'm like, baby, my mom, my mom was there. I know it's making me cringe. Like, and you, you told me this morning about it and like led with all the like good parts. And yeah. they're like, but then like every couple minutes, my mom kept coming out. I was like, what? I mean, <laughs> that is not a dream. That's not like a sexy dream. That is a nightmare. Would of like you? your parents walking in on you. Oh, what if we could only have sex? But 50% oh. of the time, no. one of our parents walks in. No. Do they see anything? Who knows? No. No. You wouldn't would you rather? Me. No, I would. I would get used to it eventually, I'm sure. If 50% of the time, hey, I'd be Nina. like, what's up, Nina? <laughs> would you rather your parents walk in on you or you walk in on your parents? I think it'd be sweet to walk in on my parents. <laughs> Comparatively. Taryn. No, like, they Taryn. made me. They made you doing that. You need to go to therapy. <laughs> they it made would be, you. It would be sweet to walk in I would parents. love to know that my parents are still having sex. That you can know? I don't and... know until I see it. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrifying. I'm joking. I don't want to see it, to be fair. I'm just saying if it was one or the other, I don't want them to see you sat on me. <laughs> versus like seeing my mom and dad and their old little bodies kissing that's fine why they're not just kissing what do you think they're doing i don't know they're i said what do you, walk what in do you on picture them. when you i picture don't because i'm not the one with issues here <laughs> let's play our game i gotta stop talking about this gross today's ooh, wow that was like a today's sleepover activity is show the audience who are so kindly watching on youtube sexy truth or dare except for we can't do dares obviously yeah so we're doing sexy <laughs> truth or truth yeah and uh the dogs desperately want back inside <laughs> so oh. Oh. <laughs> i don't know if you guys could hear Riggy's little tap she's so handsy she like swats the door when she's ready okay um i think there's a truth and a dare on both i think it's just okay. one side's truth one side's dare so yep you first me love how do you want to do it just pick one and read the truth do you have to answer every single one that is asked um yeah, I don't know. I didn't think this through. You should have done this at night and you had to like take a shot if you didn't want to answer it. But we're not drinking, so it wouldn't have been Yeah, I know. Fun either. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh! Okay, you can't skip any. Okay. <laughs> Could you like yours? Truth. What do you think is your very best sex move? What would you name it? You're just so excited to answer that. It's but for you. It's for you. I said you go first. To draw for you. No, honey, that's yours. No. Babe, that's how, yes. That's not how it works. You picked your truth. Go. Let you can't skip it. any. Nope, I'm skipping it. Tamin. <laughs> uh, tell us your favorite sex move. No, what would why you are your it? rules winning? Because that's what, because I started the game. Okay, I'm going to flip this. Red. That's dare. No, I know, but since our rules are equal, we are equals in this relationship. Okay. I'm going to flip this. If it lands on red up, then the drawer of the card. Okay, whatever. Go ahead. You're just going to put it down. No, I'm not. I'm going to flip it. Uh, if it hits red up, you have to answer. Okay. The you got to like really actually properly throw No, you're throwing it down. Uh -huh. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> what do you like most about yourself? Okay. No, you're <laughs> such a shit. Because if I didn't just read it out loud. Um. Okay, what do you think is your very best sex move? What's your move, baby? I don't think I have a move. Wow. Well. That's sad. Do you have a move? You have a signature move? It doesn't say signature move. I, just call, giving it a, like calling anything that you do, isolating anything <laughs> is so silly to me. Yeah. Um. Uh, I don't think I want you to answer it so actually. No, I'm, I'm like, I have answers for you. Really? Yeah. Um. But I don't think they're appropriate to say on air. Maybe I pick another one. <laughs> Can you whisper it to me? Okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that is fun. I think that. Okay, okay. And it would. Okay, you know what? We're not going to tell you what it is, but we're going to give it a name. Do you have a name that you would call that? The old. <laughs> the old flip and. <laughs> finish that. The old flipperoo. The old flipperoo. Okay. Good job. We have to answer some of these out loud. Well, uh, we should have. I don't think we read these prior. I think they're quite raunchy. If you could have sex with me anywhere in public, <laughs> where would it be? See, I, 
this really is hope our parents aren't that you're supposed to, to read a question and the other person is supposed to answer. Okay, whatever. That's not how we were playing. Okay. Um, and I did answer that one for you, so <laughs> whatever. Um, if you could have sex with me anywhere in public, where would it be? If I could have sex with you, <laughs> um, anywhere in public. I feel like that's like a fantasy of mine in public, but something that I don't actually want to do because I would be so stressed out mm-hmm. if it was actually in public. Mm-hmm. Like I always thought like a park could be kind of cool. Like not a kitty park, like a, like a, like a water park. No, no, no. Like a, <laughs> like just a big grass area. Okay, okay. But like, like an equestrian park? What's that? I'm just, like horses. I'm no. just, just thinking of different kinds of parks. No, like, you know, in San Francisco, they have like the big parks, everyone's yeah. like drinking, hanging out. But I don't think I actually want to do that because I'd be so scared someone would see. Yeah. But like, a park sounds dope. It would also be such a bummer if like your sexy little moment became you being a sex offender yeah like a kid runs by and you're like oh my god Terrible. i was not trying to get caught yeah yeah but like my anxiety takes me out of that really quickly where is the but most public place you've had sex that was not the question i know i'm just asking you as as compadres probably with you in that bathroom at that bar yeah yeah there were a lot of people there. what was like a unisex bathroom <laughs> <laughs> yeah we christened one of the bathrooms of weho if you ever get up. It wasn't in WeHo. Was it? No. It was in the valley. What bar? Who are you at? <laughs> what cross my voice up? <laughs> Pick one. I'm mad, you know. No, I don't know where I am ever. You know that. Yeah. Where were we? I want to say the place. I'll tell you later. Okay. Okay. Pick one. Firefly or whatever? Baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, you know what? I once saw people having public sex. <gasps> And Juicy. It was so f- my so my parents what? when I went to school I went to college in Arizona yeah and my parents came to visit and they booked a hotel room for me and some friends yeah and so we had like a fun like out of the dorms whatever hangout at yeah. this hotel and we went out at night to like walk I think we were it was either dinner time or like right after dinner and this couple was. I wish I could, I wish I had a picture. It was so <laughs> fucking funny, literally. The woman, yeah. So the rooms like backed up onto like a big grass lawn, like kind of like a golf. So they were course. in their hotel room. No. Oh. But the rooms had a wall, kind of yeah. like my parents' house in the desert. Yes. So it's yes, a wall, yes. and then it's public. Got it. They were on the grass. She was, was like, <laughs> she was like filleted on the ground. Oh my god. And he was. Butt <gasps> ass naked no! on top of her, little all his limbs, and he's like, ee, ee, ee. Like, like the Energizer Bunny vibe. Like the Energizer oh Bunny. Oh my god! Broad and we daylight? walked like early night, and we walked by, and we and were didn't say anything. Crying, laughing. Did they see you? They wanted you to see them. They, pro- I think they wanted it. Yeah. It was like clear that they were having like a oh, little getaway. My god! Oh, so I, I, don't I will it. never forget that man's. Like frog like back. Like, my, my, my. <laughs> yeah. That is horrifying. I was talking to Heather, my friend from back home and first roommate when I moved to LA, about this time. I don't know how we didn't like call the police, but we were walking back into our apartment and it was like a complex where the center is like open air, like an atrium kind of vibe. And we're walking up the stairs to our apartment and the one next to us, but lower. The guy is on his sofa with the blinds open, jerking off. And he, there was like four or five of us walking to the apartment. I think we came back from the grocery store. I thought you were going to say there was four or five of them in there. No, no, just him alone. Like he had a family, kids. Aww, and he's, he needed a minute. No, honey, why are you saying aw? He's curtains open, jerking off, looking at us, <laughs> not stopping, just going okay, at it. We bad. get inside. We tell Heather's sister, Olivia, we're like, Liv, you have to see us. We're dying laughing. The walls are paper thin there, so he hears us cracking up. And he's just there like, (laughs) it was so horrifying. And he lived right next to us. Like, why did we not do something about that? Anyways, go ahead. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. My truth is what's one place, (laughs) this is my truth. I'd like to speak, speak your to truth. My truth to all of you. What's one place you'd love me to take you for some oral pleasure? <laughs> <laughs> That's the same as like. That's like where do you want to yeah, yeah. sex? New one. Okay, I had an answer, but oh, go ahead. Like in the car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Okay, go, go, go. Do I go again now? Yeah, you might as well. That's like repetitive. 
This is stupid. Don't pick a different one. We can be picky because some of them are just dumb. If you had to choose one position to have sex in for the rest of your life, what would it be? Doggy. <laughs> <laughs> so quick. So quick with it. Okay. Okay. Nice. What would yours be? I, honey, that's not how this works. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Um, I don't know. Maybe, probably same. As long as, like, you can both do it. <laughs> you know? Then you know what? I know where I want you to give me oral. Dog park. <laughs> Dog. Dude, we're feeling funny this morning. I love recording in the morning. <clears throat> um, what, oh my god. What turned you on most the first time we had sex? Oh my god. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to say it. Also, I really hope our parents aren't listening to this episode. We so can tell them this is not the episode. If you to guys, yeah, to. you guys are. Yeah, I think let's just call it mom, dad, don't, don't listen. And maybe yeah. they won't. That's cute. Good name. Um, thanks. Uh, my fiance is a copywriter. So I think what turned me on the most about the first time we did the deed is the fact that we were trying not to do the deed. We were like, let's take it slow. We had been friends for so long that yeah. once we like crossed that boundary, we were like, no, no, no. Let's like, let's just date for a while. Let's not do anything physical. Which you like, why we made that role, I have no idea. It was so pointless. Yeah. But I think we wanted to like, like make it more meaningful, which of course it was meaningful. We were friends for five years. Like, of course it wasn't just like a sexual thing, but for some reason we were like, no, 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 we have to hold off. And I think, and then we were just like laying in bed being so silly, playing games and like we just had like the ultimate sleepover. Yeah, like could not have been more emotionally connected in those moments. Yeah, and it just like made me want to more. And then like you were holding out better, I think, and being like, no, 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 we can't. And then like we were that. kissing and stuff. We just said, let's not have sex on our first date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which feels <laughs> okay. Yeah, totally. But I was like, I get it, but why? And then we like kept having those conversations of like. For what? And then it got like hours later. We were like, "Yeah, but why?" Yeah, and then it was. And then we did. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Okay, couple more. Couple more. Three more each. Sure, do it. What's the quickest quickie you've ever had? Ooh, quickest quickie. Probably any time we're like traveling with other people and like sharing space. I yeah. feel like we like quickly do it in the shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like just we wrap this like, shit up, get it out, go. Like sometimes you don't even mean to. You're just like, you're here, I'm here, we're both naked. <laughs> just a little. And things, it's like, gotta go. Things slip into place. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Would you rather have sex on a boat or a rooftop? Oh my gosh, poor candles, those. Seriously, baby. sexy. Um, did we have sex on that boat? We didn't. We did. Really? We, did? we didn't. I don't think we I did. What losers are we? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go rooftop. Mm. Yeah. I like unless it could be like we're alone on a stunning yacht on top of the yacht. Yeah. You know, like the little like rooms, not as sexy as it seems. They're very small. Yeah, but on top of it, like anchored in the middle of like some beautiful sea. Yeah. Yeah. We were on a yacht, my, our family friend's yacht. That was probably one of the nicer yachts we'll be on in our lives. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And the room, yacht rooms are just, it's not the vibe. Like, well, they're the, not bad the rooms. The primary bedroom is a vibe. Is a vibe. But it's just hard. I mean, boats are small, even like very nice, expensive boats, except for like the ones on below deck. Yeah. Those are like below deck. Below her mouth. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? No. Oh my god, it's so intense. Is it a porny? No, it's just like a lesbian movie, but it's like... Well, yeah, it basically is a porn. What was your first introduction to a sex toy? Back massager when I was young. Classic. 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 Was it your parents' back massager? I could not just <laughs> confirm or deny. No! Isn't everyone's? What kid has a back massager? I don't know, but I would not... No. Oh, baby. It was the family back massager. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
you get rid of it? No, she did it. That face said no. No one used it. I'm sure. <laughs> no one used it the way I used it. Have you ever had a sexual moment at the office? Every day, baby. <laughs> Home office. Have you though? Like previous office days. I never had an office. I mean, not office, but like when you worked in buildings. When did I work in buildings? When you worked at Nordstrom. Did not have a sexual experience in Nordstrom. <laughs> And then I worked at another... This just in. Cammy did not have a sexual experience at Nordstrom. <laughs> I guess the most office building is when I worked at this company called Mod Cloth in Pittsburgh, where I was, like, taking the photographs for the website. Um, were you taking sexy photos? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the most handsy I got were with mannequins, dressing them, undressing them. You, wait. Pinning, stuffing. <laughs> wait. You're telling me that the most handsy that you got was with the mannequins and not the woo mannequins? What? Oh, honey. I think I just spit on you. Next. <laughs> Last ones. Again, what's the most taboo place you want to have sex? It's like, whoever makes get the game creative, is like, losers. yeah. Uh, no. This would make me cringe You don't have to answer it. What's your me. favorite body part for me to nibble on? Ew, nibble. <laughs> nibble. But answer. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What's it asking? Who's me? What, you. What part of your body do you like me to nibble on? <laughs> like a little cheek. Like mine's my neck. Yeah. My. <laughs> what if you're like my, my big dick? Toe? <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> my. I feel like I know yours. I have options. Tell, tell I love people. it all. Oh, my neck, my all. ear. I think it's my your back. Ear. When you kiss like the back of my shoulders, but that's not nibbling. When you nibble on the back of my uh-huh. shoulder. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ear, ears. Ear, it's ear. Until I got shingles. Now it always kind of. <gasps> oh, you, have to you do, do kind of like. <laughs> no. Yeah, this year. Well, it's just the nerves are always going to be a little messed oh. up. I'll just do that one then. Yeah. Okay. Remember, it's okay. not the ear with the piercing. Got it. Got That's it. Got it. The free ear is. But I can't tell because I never have an earring in. So I it's like always have an earring in. <laughs> I've never taken this out. I was thinking about your your nose hole. <laughs> <laughs> you never. I she also. Did it. uh, yeah. It's kind of part of your body now. It's part of my body. I've never. T- I don't think I can take it out. It's who I am. That's Whoever funny. wrote this is disgusting. The back of it says, "Divulge your secret fantasies and act out your wildest dreams." These are so dumb. They either are so lame or so raunchy. They're from 2011. <laughs> Which of my moves gets you the absolute hottest? Okay, so that's my moves. The same. It's the same, the same thing as your signature. <laughs> the the flipperama. The flip de do. <laughs> um, what's your favorite time of day? For getting doughy. Um, I think like all time, all time favorite is the morning. Always. It's so great. But like, I feel like that opportunity, that's why I like a little, um, so excited for vacation. Like, I feel like our mornings don't, aren't conducive for that. Yeah, right now they're You not. know? Yeah. But that is like my all time favorite. But it just like, the dogs are in bed with us in the morning. Yeah. If we don't get out of bed when they get out, they're like mad at us. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like we have fucking children. Okay. Well, that was so fun. I learned so much about you. Yeah, so much. I hope you guys felt like you were at a sexy slice of Sexy slice um, Oh my god, bar. it's the recording's at 33 minutes. <gasps> That's very cute. Wow, that is fate. I also need to leave so soon. Okay, do, do we want... have our Scandy story? My phone is up there recording us oh let so me oh i'm not logged into the email is Ooh. the problem oh shoot we were gonna get our um, scandy sleepover. let me grab my computer well wait my my ipad's right there maybe oh, that'll yeah. work can we entertain them <laughs> just like a little like uh segue music oh we need turns out my ipad's dead okay <laughs> you entertain them yeah <laughs> I need to pack for Vegas today. Baby. <laughs> they don't care about our to-do list. <laughs> they listen to a podcast called Staying Up With Us where we literally just say I shit. I know, but I don't think they care that we need to pack. 
I hate um, packing. Does it get easier? Whoa, what is wrong with my thing? Look at that. Okay, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Dude, the lighting has changed so I know, dramatically it's, I on can't, this YouTube recording. I cannot see anything. I should have shut those off. I hope this chaos is enjoyable for y'all. Oh, okay. Question, handling religious family judgment? Ooh. Or... Is there like a sexy question? No. Just or advice for a lost... I'm just reading the titles. Advice for a lost 21-year-old kid. Pick one. Hi, Smeech. Hurry, hurry. hurry. Um, if it's red, we go religion. No, do the other one. Okay. Advice for a lost 20-year-old kid. Hit me. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could cancel the trip and we could try to find them. Oh, well. oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so for some context. What are we looking at? A 21 year old, mm -hmm. she, her, mm -hmm. kind of closeted to the world, but out to my close friends. Classic. That's a vibe. I yeah, love that yeah. vibe. I was madly in love with my best friend from college, and we dated for seven months, and then we broke up, and my little gay heart shattered into a million pieces. I'm so sorry. Here, look, we're picking it up. Yeah. No one misses that, fa that feeling, but everyone goes through it. Um, and I promise to never love anyone ever again. Also, we been there. Be, we all that. be doing that. This happened in December 2021. This was my first ever relationship. And ever since that ended and my friendship with her got fucked up, I just started avoiding numbing my emotions because yeah. they became too much to deal with anyways. Yeah. And it's been, and it's been working. Like I keep myself occupied. I do not entertain thoughts. I strongly avoid introspection or anything that oh. might invoke emotions because ew. The life balance wheel made me reflect for the first time, and I don't know. I just feel super lost and behind in life, and Aww. my love, and my love slice was at a one. Love slice. She said love slice. Yeah, or seven because the lack of a romantic relationship seemed to be peaceful. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever love anyone again, and just the thought of dating again makes me so anxious and scared. I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what did your life balance wheel look like when you were in your early 20s? I just feel stuck and alone. I don't know. Any advice would be super appreciated. Thank you for being you and sharing a part of your lives on the internet. Love you. Yours kookily. And then their name, but I'm not going to say it. Cute. Oh, All right, um, kook. Yeah, they asked to be anonymous, so we shall call her kook. Kook. Hi, kook. Kook. To you, I say, I think that... No, when when you are lost, knowing that you're lost is scarier, kind of. Like, mm -hmm. reminding yourself that you're lost and being like, oh, I'm so lost, I'm so lost, mm -hmm. uh, everyone else has it figured out, makes you panic more. Yeah. When in reality, you are not lost mm -hmm. at all, I dare I say. I mean, I don't know you personally, but mm -hmm. based on what you just told us, you are right where you should be in your life. Yeah. And she said she's in her 20s? 21. 21. Yeah. Bro, 21. I don't even know what loss could look like. I just started thinking about my 21st birthday and how different my life was. Oh, my God. Horrible. <laughs> I was in, almost engaged to a man. And <laughs> call, I was in Vegas mm -hmm. with my family and my boyfriend the at the time. The time you lost your wallet? The time I lost my wallet. So if that isn't lost for you. Uh, I don't know what is, but, but you weren't because, but like, I wasn't. Yeah. Exactly. Because that was just where my life was taking Part me. Of your journey. So I understand that there is pain and confusion where you are at this time mm -hmm. because it, you look around and everyone looks like they have it together, but we get DMs all day long yeah. and it, no one feels like they have it together, especially in their twenties. Oh my God. The twenties is meant for this. Yeah. I'm so not worried about you like reading that yeah. I'm not worried I'm like as as soon as I started reading I was like yeah totally 100% when I turned 21 I was with my first girlfriend ever who cheated on me throughout the entire relationship I was miserable but I thought that that was my only option from my hometown only person I would ever find and like I Felt like, and I, same as you, I was half closeted. Mm -hmm. Some of my friends knew, some didn't. My family probably knew, but I hadn't told them. And I had no idea the heartbreak I was going to go through numerous times after that. And I think the only difference in my journey was that, like, I've never had 
the willpower that you have to like close yourself off to people. Yeah. Um, and that's the only thing I'm going to push back on you to do. Like, don't stop living because of the pain. Like, pain in life is kind of a really beautiful part of life. Like, having that journey, you really start to appreciate the people who don't cause you that pain. You appreciate the good relationships because of the pain. Like, you don't stop living just because you've gone through something like that. Like, you, it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you a better partner. It's going to make you know what kind of partner that you want. You're 21. You are not lost. You, If you had it together, I'd be like, what is wrong with this person? And you're probably going to freak out in 10 years because you think you have it together and you definitely don't. Also, like if everyone that was in pain closed themselves off, there would not be a single open person on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Like everyone's got something. Mm -hmm. And I... I feel like an old person when I say stuff like this, but like I cannot express to you how much time helps. Mm -hmm. And I know that you are the oldest that you've ever been. So you feel old, mm -hmm. but your twenties, I almost knew less in my twenties than I feel like I knew when I was in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like you get so much opportunity and all this stuff. And now so social wise. media, you yeah. see everything and every ways that you could be living your life and all stuff. It's just like, I, it's so overwhelming. Yeah. But I cannot express enough how you are right where you should be. If you care, if you try manifestation, I don't know if that's your vibe, wake up every day and go, I'm right where I should be. Mm -hmm. What's today have in store for me? What am I going to learn today? <clears throat> Instead of I'm closing myself off. I need to protect myself. I need to da, 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 da. Just say, okay, I'm in a more protective part of my journey and that's okay but what what could come of today for me yeah yeah and just do that until you're 30 <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are gonna look back at this time in your life eventually and be like oh my god I can't believe I dwelled on that for so long like yeah I love the TikTok trend right now where it's like uh, my 21 year old self our biggest fear came true my six-year-old self sharks came out of the the tub and like yeah. ate me or like the girl from the ring was actually hiding under my bed or it's so funny that our greatest fears at different stages of of our life we always look back and we're like what like yeah. that that's what I was scared of and I think in a sense you could be like oh my gosh and we get scared of such bigger things but it's it's not like my fear of like the Chucky doll was so much bigger than any fear I have now yeah but it's all relative and you're gonna be just fine you're gonna find love and you know what? I don't trust people who haven't gone through big heartbreak. Yeah. I'm like, that scares me when people haven't experienced that. So you're very trustworthy, kooks. I love you. You're going to be just fine. All I can do is encourage you to open your little heart up a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's the last thing I was going to say is that like, it's not all or nothing. It's not like closed to the world or completely open to the mm -hmm. world. There's like a million little steps in between. And so... I think we would both encourage you to try to like begin to open up a little bit. Dip your toes Just in the water. Just a little tiptoes, a little see where your intuition and your mm -hmm. gut starts to like say, yeah. Ooh, I'm not comfortable with that. Or like that is a little too much for me at the moment. Yeah. Totally fine. Listen to that. But like it's not open or closed. Yeah. There's a million stops in between those two things. So. And if you're not going to therapy try it out. I think this yes. is a perfect <laughs> this is a perfect scenario for it when it's really hard to process like what you should and shouldn't do if you're protecting yourself or if you're holding yourself back. I think that's where a therapist really like it's their bread and butter of kind of helping you distinguish the difference. So, best of luck kooks. We love you. Keep us posted. Keep us posted. Reach back out in a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, this was a shorter episode, but I got to go get my hair done, and Taryn's got to go pack for her wild Vegas trip. My wild Vegas trip. We love you guys so much. Thanks for staying up with us. Love you. Good night. Bye.